Splash pads are such a fun way to keep cool. I love just watching the kids playing around in that. The zoo has one. I was out at the Otay Ranch Town Center on Tuesday. They have one. You really can find them pretty much everywhere. All right, let's take you outside to Carlsbad. I wish this had just been over just a little bit. It is packed on the beaches. I'm assuming they're all visitors because it's Thursday. <laughs> what are all these people doing? But cloudy skies along much of our coastal areas, inland neighborhoods, Chula Vista from Otay Mountain looking mostly sunny right now. It's quite a bit cooler along our coast. In Carlsbad right now it's 72 degrees, Imperial Beach at 69, 95 in Ramona. It's hot in the deserts, but it does not look likely to see any records today. I think we're actually going to be a couple of degrees shy of any records today, and I'm not forecasting any records tomorrow. So the worst of the heat is now behind us. All right, tonight, those clouds thicken up along our coastline, unless you're already overcast. It's not going to get much cloudier than that, but temperatures won't get too much cooler than the mid to upper 60s for the coast and inland neighborhoods as we head into tonight. Some patchy fog is going to be possible tomorrow morning for your morning commute. Temperatures dropping quite a bit for the inland neighborhoods from the 80s to the 90s down into the 60s tonight. But the mountain areas are going to still be pretty warm. All right, 93 in Julian tomorrow. Some notable temperatures, 113 in Borrego Springs, shy of a record. 99 in Campo, also shy of a record. And mid to upper 80s for most of the inland neighborhoods. I am forecasting a few 90s. Ramona, the hotter spot at 94, but at least we're not close to 100. 90 in Santee, 92 in Alpine, and still in the 90s in the mountains. So this high pressure system that we've been talking about seems like forever is shifting towards the east and as it does so it's actually going to be surging in some of that monsoon moisture so it's going to move over the four corners and if you just watch the circulation around this high pressure system there you go it's going to tap into the gulf moisture the gulf of california in particular and surge that our way so it is going to be muggier this weekend but not as hot that continues through monday though saturday and sunday looking like the most humid days and the best chance for some showers and thunderstorms and then heading into the end of next Next week, that high pressure starts to build again. The jet stream goes farther north, so hotter weather is going to be heading our way. But it does not look like it's going to be as hot as it has been for this last stretch. All right, tonight, those clouds thicken up, start to spread inland. Then as we head into Friday, there comes those monsoon clouds. And watch the movement. They come from the southeast, and they move towards the southwest. Because of the movement, a lot of times these storms move pretty much north to south, or south to north, rather. These ones are have, a, have more of a westerly trajectory that means that a few storms could form in the mountain areas and maybe move into the valley locations and it's not impossible to even see a few sprinkles all the way to our coastline but the best chance is going to be over the mountain communities just because you get that lift from the mountains. So Saturday and Sunday maybe lingering into Monday and maybe not not a zero percent chance for even tomorrow. Along the coast temperatures generally in the 70s. Not a big change here. I do expect it to see more sunshine starting Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. For the inland neighborhoods it's not impossible but not likely but I am including a very slight chance for a stray shower or thunderstorm Saturday and Sunday. But look at that we're dropping actually a few degrees below normal mid mid 80s starting on Sunday for the mountain areas. One more day in the 90s tomorrow. Humider, more humid, muggier, <laughs> and then we'll see mid 80s on Sunday into early next week. And the desert areas also finally breaking that stretch of 110 plus degrees on Sunday.